Welcome back to SpaceX Starship. The most powerful rocket in the world lifted off on a successful test flight last night after three other flights failed earlier this year. NASA hired SpaceX to build a lunar lander version of Starship to carry astronauts to the moon. Mark Strassman reports from Houston. Three. Tuesday's successful flight test was a welcome moment for America's moon landing aspirations. NASA needs Starship to ferry its astronauts down to the lunar surface, and the clock is ticking. We're in a race to the moon, in a race with China to the moon. And Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy is NASA's acting administrator. So we won the first space race. We are going to win today's space race and tomorrow's space race. Oh, my That's God. Amazing. But after multiple Starship in-flight failures and explosions earlier this year, SpaceX is behind schedule and still has much to prove. Ten former senior NASA leaders and engineers told us NASA should be worried. I'm just afraid that they've inherited uh, an effort that is not going to get them where they want to go anytime soon. Doug Cook spent 38 years at NASA, at one point overseeing all human exploration for the agency. My concerns have to do with how complicated the mission architecture is. To reach the moon, Starship will need to top off at an orbiting gas station, and that will require rapidly launching 10 or more tanker ships to deliver propellant. In-space refueling at this scale has never been tried before. Is NASA in a position right now to beat the Chinese by 2030. NASA on the current path doesn't appear to be on a timeline to beat the Chinese in my view. Duffy acknowledged SpaceX is behind schedule, but told us last week he still believes NASA's 2027 moon landing plans are on track. They oftentimes are behind, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden they make these massive leaps forward. They've told me they're gonna, they're gonna be on time um, and ready to go, and I'll take them at their word.